All right, Jesse on fire. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, oh, Jake Paul sent a $50 million offer to Conor McGregor. Whoa, whoa, we got to do a video. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing. YouTubers are talking trash. This YouTuber is going to talk about them talking trash. Connor is going to ignore him. Dana White's going to ignore him and nothing's going to happen. And then idiots, idiots, utter morons, the stupidest people in the entire sport who are casual fans who do not understand anything about the sport are going to start telling people, I don't know, man, I think Jake Paul might give Connor problems. So everyone's doing what they're supposed to do. If you're an idiot, you say Connor might actually have problems with Jake Paul. If you're Connor McGregor, you ignore it. If you're Dana, you ignore it. If you're Jake Paul, you make noise online and everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. Right. And then I tell you guys, I tell you guys that anybody who says that Jake Paul is going to give problems to Connor has absolutely no credibility going forward whatsoever at all. Like none, zero, like gone. Okay. So everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. So we'll call this video. Everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. All right. So if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. Let's run through this thing. So first I should probably just show you the video in case you haven't seen it. So let's take a look at Jake Paul. What the fuck is up you Irish? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds, the biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Conor. You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 as a boxer. I just came off the eighth biggest pay-per-view event in history but you want to fight dustin prober who has less followers on instagram than my fucking dog that's a fact and dana white you're a fucking pussy too you ugly fucking bald bitch you said there's zero percent chance of this fight happening but there's zero percent chance of you getting some fucking pussy connor you're scared dana you're scared sign the fucking contract you idiots jesus fucking christ irish bitch all right, so that was that's exciting, right? So you know, calls uh, calls Connor's wife a four. Um, you know, I don't know, like uh, some other idiotic stuff. Tries to talk about Ireland. Says he offered him fifty million dollars. Says it's the biggest deal that he's ever been offered. Not true. Uh, he, I don't know what else. Oh, talked about Dana. Talked about Dana. That's a genius strategy. That's a genius strategy, Jake Paul. Okay, opposite, opposite, idiot, idiot. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's actually run through that. Oh, Dana, Dana what oh, Dana, you're not going to get any pushy. Okay, so here's the deal, pal. Did you notice that Floyd Mayweather, when he was doing the press conferences and talking about Connor, that one thing he didn't do was he never said anything negative about Dana White? Did you notice that? You know, did you notice that? Because Dana is an incredibly vindictive guy, okay? And when I say vindictive, I mean he doesn't take shit from people and he never forgets, right? So here's the deal, right? So this guy, so this Connor fight that you want, we offered you $50 million and I agree, you should go after it because it'll be a gigantic payday. I mean, this is a cash grab, obviously, okay? This is a cash grab, but it's a cash grab that I assume you actually want, right? Now, if you actually want it, who do you think has to sign off on it? You think Connor can just go, all right, let's do it. I'll take this free money. Let's, I mean, I beat the shit out of completely laughably inferior opponents all day long in the gym. Why not do it, you know, one more time and get, you know, 50, 60, 70 million dollars for it, right? Because 50 million is a low ball offer. Why not, right? Why would I not just go beat the shit out of this guy? I, I, he has no chance, absolutely no chance of hurting me. Why not take that money? Oh, that's right, because Connor can't do that. He can't do it, right? Dana has to allow him to do it because their contracts are ironclad, right? So how do you think Dana is going to get back at, you know, so so Jake Paul decided to make an enemy of Dana. Like, you know, oh, Jane is your dirt or dirt, right? They don't have a relationship. So they, to him, like, it's not like, it's not like Colby Covington where they're kind of cool behind the scenes and he's, you know, they're talking shit in public, but like in reality, they know they're cool. Like Jake Paul doesn't know Dan White. So he's actually making an enemy out of him, right? So Dana, how do you think he's going to get back at you? He's going to never let anyone fight you. And he's also never going to entertain you coming into the UFC. Let's say down, I mean, you're 22 years old, 23 years old. You think your entire career, I mean, if you're serious about fighting, maybe you'll want to fight in the UFC at some point. Guess who's never fighting in the UFC now? You know, unless you string together some serious, I mean, Dana, listen, there's no scenario where making an enemy of Dana is a good thing. Okay, just plain and simple. But I wouldn't expect him to think through, this is why I should be your manager, man. You got all the followers. I could insert some brains on that, you know? Insert a little bit of brains. I don't even know how these guys got famous. I didn't know who Logan Paul was until after he lost to KSI the second time. You know, like the draw and the second. I had no idea. I had no idea who he was. Okay. Um, anyway, 
So there's that, right? So, but Jake Paul is doing what he's supposed to do. He's making noise, right? How does he get paid? He gets paid by making noise. People pay attention to him for whatever reason, right? People pay attention. I mean, he's not a terrible boxer or anything, but he's calling out Conor McGregor, okay? Now we can get into this other thing. I have actually heard people in text threads that I'm in seriously say, Jake Paul could give problems to Conor McGregor. And I'm like, and I'm just like polite, like, yeah, no, right? That's what my, that's the polite version of me, okay? So let me tell you what anyone who actually knows anything about fighting, I'm talking baseline, you know, cause there are fight fans and then there are fight fans and there are fight fans, right? There are fight fans who are actually like, versed in fighting who have fought themselves in one discipline or another they're former like former professionals let's even say that like former professionals or amateur fighters there are people who are trained and then there are people who watch fights on television who are educated and then there are people who just watch them on on television because they like to see people you know throw punches etc okay i would assume that if you talk about mma a lot or, or boxing etc you wouldn't want to be considered in this last column which is oh yeah we just watch but we don't really know anything like we literally we don't know anything about the sport whatsoever because here's the thing if you say a thing like this i don't know man i think jake paul might give connor problems if they were to box okay and you say that to anyone who's in this professional former you know like amateur or like someone who's trained or even educated fan what you're actually saying, you see, what you think you said was, I think Jake Paul will give Connor problems. But what you actually said was, I don't know shit about fighting whatsoever. Never, ever listen to me ever again. My opinions are utterly nullified permanently. Okay? You didn't realize that's what you said, but that's what you fucking said. Okay? Oh, I, yeah, I don't know, man. Dude, in boxing, like in a straight boxing match, like, I, I don't know, man. I think Jake Paul could give Connor problems. And what they heard was, I don't, I've never fought. I've never put on gloves. I've never boxed. I've never gotten into a ring. I don't know shit about fighting whatsoever. Literally, I know nothing, okay? I know nothing. And not only do I not know nothing, I literally can watch a thing and not even realize what I'm looking at. Like, I watched Jake Paul knock out a former NBA player, and in my mind, I actually translated that into this guy could fight one of the best fighters in the world and win. And to a person over here, right, who's actually sparred people who are better than them, they look at you and you're like, they're like, <laughs> wait, what? You think because one guy was better than another guy, that means that he could give any other guy problems? Because that's not how that works, okay? So like, take it from me. I've sparred lots of guys, right? I kick the shit out of 99% of you. I get the shit kicked out of me 100% of the time by people that are better than me. And I'm not even talking about fucking professionals. I'm just talking about people who are just better than me, okay? like. It's, it's like uh, it's like Call of Duty, right? Like you think you're good, you know, you're playing at home and then you get online and when you play against people who are really good, you literally have no chance, like none. You could play them a thousand times, they'll beat you a thousand times out of a thousand. Okay, that's Conor McGregor to Jake Paul. 1,000 out of 1,000 times, Conor will annihilate him in boxing, period. There is no, like, there's no conversation here, okay? None, zero, no conversation whatsoever, okay? Jake Paul has one weapon. He's got a very strong overhand right. Cool, okay? So Connor's just, all he has to do is just not get hit with an overhand right. Do you understand how easy that is for a guy like Connor McGregor, okay? Connor will obliterate him. Like, he'll never get touched. He'll never get touched. And Jake Paul, uh, I mean, again, so it, I don't even need to get into the fight. I don't even need to get into the actual X's and O's. I just wanna make sure that everyone understands that if you have a friend who says, I don't know, I think Jake Paul might give Connor problems in boxing, what they've said to you is, their opinion should be utterly disregarded permanently, okay? Like if they go, I don't know, I think Yoel is gonna do blah, blah, blah. Even if they say something that's just common sense, right? Even if they say like, yeah, I think Israel Adesanya, you know, he's gonna probably do pretty well at 205. You still just go, mm, ah, I'm just not hearing you, man. Like I, there's something about, you know, like when you talked about picking up your daughter or you talked about how you wanted to go, you know, play golf this weekend, I heard all that. But as soon as you said Israel Adesanya, I don't know, all of a sudden it was just like, I can't understand you. I can't understand you at all. I don't know what you're saying. Like, as soon as you start talking about fighting, I literally can't understand you. I don't know what it is. I feel like maybe it's because you said Jake Paul might actually have a chance against Conor McGregor and all of a sudden, your credibility exploded. And so now I'm like, ah, I don't know. Did you say something about Yoel Romero? Ah, ah, I don't know, man. I can't, I, I just, I can't. I can't listen to anything you say anymore. Like, I just can't do it. So, you know, if you have an opinion on 
Yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, where the kids are going to play soccer or like, you know, what cities are nice to live in. Let's talk about that. But ooh, don't talk to me about fucking John Jones, man. Don't talk to me about John Jones because I literally can't. You said jaw and then all of a sudden it's gibberish. Can't understand a single thing that you said, right? So the point I'm making is don't say Jake Paul has a chance against Conor McGregor. Don't do it unless you want to blow up your credibility. I mean, just plain and simple because there is no conversation there. None. Okay, Conor McGregor had a hundred times better chance against Floyd Mayweather than Jake Paul does against Conor McGregor, period. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah, that fight's never going to happen. But, uh, you know, everybody's doing what they're supposed to be doing, except Jake Paul should have been, uh, you know, making nice with Dana. He should have been going to Dana with that offer. He should have been going to Dana and the remaining owners of the, or the, you know, the board of the UFC and been like, hey, you know, should have made that offer to them. Okay. That might have pushed the needle. You go to Connor. Connor has no ability to make that fight anyway. Also, you know, go to the people that are actually driven. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. Um, bottom line is Dana's never going to do that fight anyway because he thinks it's a. It, it would lower his huge difference between letting Connor fight Floyd and letting Connor fight Jake Paul. Okay, Connor's a prize fighter. Connor's a prize fighter. Now Connor will take that free money just like anyone else would. Okay, like when people are like, when people are looking at Connor. And they're going, oh, God, if Connor takes that fight, boop, 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 boop. It's like, hey, you know, I know you watch these guys on television. Do you think this is a movie? Like, do you think this is a movie or do you think these are actual people? Because if someone offered you $50 million to do anything, I mean, I would imagine there's a hard, you're going to find a, not very many things you wouldn't do. And if someone said, hey, so you know what you're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, which is beat the shit out of people who are not as good as you in a ring, uh, you want to do that, except do it like the next day and we'll pay you $60 million to do it. Are you down with that? You're going to be like, nah, <laughs> it would lower me. You're like, what do you mean? That's what you're going to be doing anyway. <laughs> and, and, and this guy's even worse than those guys that you beat the hell out of all day long. Yeah, that's a good point. Sure. I'll take that money. He'd go obliterate him, take that money and be done with it. Okay. Then his kids, 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 kids have generational wealth just from that one thing that Jake Paul, you know. Jake Paul has celebrity. Conor McGregor is a superstar who's also an incredible athlete. I mean, why would he not take that money? Uh, but Dana will never let it happen, so it doesn't matter. And don't fucking, don't, don't say Jake Paul will give Conor problems unless you are either a complete idiot or you hate Conor so much that you're willing to say things that literally make no sense, okay? Uh, anyway, that's what I've got. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. 